Okay, we're going to try this again. <laughs> Fortunately, I hadn't put anything away yet, so I still have some pieces here. I'm not going to go over um, some of the same things. Um, basically, you just roll out a long um, length of fondant and here, let me lower it and cut them into slightly larger than four inch lengths um, because our cake is going to be four inches high. So, and well, oops, maybe I did put something away. <laughs> I'm missing my scissors. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now, start out by I'm using royal icing. Um, you can use, you know, depending on what you're going to do, if you're going to put these on fondant, I would use royal icing to glue them on um, to a layer of fondant, or if you're using buttercream, just use some more buttercream. And spray that on there. I look all disorganized now. Just moved it around slightly from before. Okay. So, we're just spreading that royal icing out. You don't want to do too large a section. <laughs> it won't stay now. All right. Okay. So, what you do, you cut your, you take your four inch sections and you cut them into either two or three segments. And cu I cut mine um, at an angle. So you have a little, some little angle there, and then I use my favorite tool here, the knitting needle, and make an, a very deep indentation. So you get, you get that. And there's my phone. <laughs> Never fails. Something happens when I'm recording. Okay. We actually want to start at the bottom, so you get um, you get it lined up with the bottom of your cake. So we'll start at the bottom, and we will take each segment and smooth the edges. You don't want sharp edges. There's no sharp edges in nature. <laughs> and we will put that. You don't want it lined up perfectly. You want a little bit of variation, and now I'm getting a text. <laughs> okay. Never fails. I should turn off all electronics. Okay. So we have our very first segment. These are the ones that I did prior. <laughs> and there's another one. And I'm just going to do two, because I've already gone through it once. These ones are not going to be very neat because it was a little neater last time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to smooth out all three sections. Make our hole and again start at the bottom. And you don't want the segments to line up. Um, perfectly. You want to have variation in there so that it actually looks natural. If you have it looking too precise, it, it just looks fake. Okay. Now, I'll show you how I paint them. Right here, I have got brown, white, and ivory, uh, and a little bit of vodka. So, whoops. Well, I thought I left everything right here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sitting right on top, I didn't even see it. A little bit more vodka. This is my friend here. little bit for the cake, a little bit for brandy. <laughs> Kidding. Okay. So, you want to do, first you want
want to do the, the segments, uh, the separations between the segments. And I do a very dark um, brown for that. Um, mostly brown, just to add a little bit of white. I don't like it completely brown, but you, know, you do whatever looks good to you. And you just, not even very neatly, <laughs> paint between the sections. And get it, make sure you get, dig your paintbrush um, in between those sections. And it'll look a lot better if you get it in there. And, let's yeah, see how sloppy that looks. Doesn't that look ugly? <laughs> okay, oh. And also do the, the holes up top. Okay, in the dark. All the way down there. All right. Now, now I would normally wait for this to dry. It would look, you know, it, the effect is a lot better if you wait for it to dry. But you don't want to sit around while I wait for this to dry. So <laughs> I'll just go ahead and finish it. Um, now I use a little bit of the white and just a little bit of the ivory and a lot of vodka. You want it very, very thin. Just a slight hint of the color. And you start out at the segment and you pull the brush away so that you get the, uh, the dark brown striations um, which you know gives you a natural uh, wood grain look to your bamboo. And I'm going to paint up. And this color is actually darker than what I used before and what I would normally use. But I want you to be able to see it on camera. And I'm not getting the, the striations that I normally get because it didn't dry, but you get the idea. You'll be able to see it. And I would wait for it to dry anyway so that the, the segments aren't sliding around on you while you're trying to paint them. And let me see if I can get that on camera. See how sloppy that one looks. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. There's the bamboo. And, uh, hope that helped you. Thanks for watching.